D2DNY, Real World HVAC Simplified. And now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to gain access to this device. This is actually a Mitsubishi Electric Centralized Controller, the EW50A. So how to gain access to this device, to view all your connected indoor units, and some status or or reading from your outdoor unit. Stay tuned. So I'm going to show you how to get this screen right here that I'm looking at. You can see all my units. So I'll show you how to get here. And in here you can... Wait a second. Okay, so the camera was acting up a bit. So you can see is where we are. And if I go, I'll show you a few, couple of the features, some of the features. So I can go into maintenance and I can click on the uh, monitor and status. And you can see outdoor units capacity, um, outdoor units address right here. And See, uh, this one is at 69 percent. So your 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 uh, eyesight pressure right here. And so I'm gonna show you how to get out of that. And um, when we go back in here to the most um, important one, or the cool, the most cool, coolest of all is this one here, where you can click on a particular indoor unit and go to um operation you could turn it off turn it on and you can go to advance right here and you can see you can change the, the mode fan temperature all that so i'm gonna show you how to get to here um uh, using this device all right so the first thing you're going to need to have, you're going to have need to need a, a Cat 5e cable, like this one here. Okay, there's some light on that. So you can see, this is my cable. Right, so you're going to plug into LAN 1. That's LAN 1. So you plug one hand of your Cat 5e cable into your gateway device, LAN 1. And then the other end goes into your computer. Now obviously you're gonna need a computer as well. Alright, so let's get into setting this up. Okay, be with me. So I'm gonna close this out and go from scratch. There it goes. Exit, close all tabs. Alright, voila. So on your laptop, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is um left click on your internet this little internet access icon and open network sharing then you're going to want to go into change adapter settings like that and you want to click on ethernet and then you want to left click or sorry right click apologize you're going to right click on that, yeah. go into properties, properties, you're going to go down to IPv4, scroll down to IPv4, click on that, click properties once again, and then you're going to want to uh, change if you are in, uh, if your computer is set up for dynamic host select use this IP click that right there and then put in 192.168.1 and you can put 2, 3, 4, 5, even 10 because the default IP for the Mitsubishi um, equipment is uh, 
that one that one so you want to make your computer close enough so that it will be able to find it find the device when you connect it and you gotta you gotta use uh you know not dynamic host just this the same option that i have right here okay and you check that and then you you just hit uh, okay and make sure your subject mass is exactly as it is right here okay and then you hit okay now once you do that you can close that out or you could leave it open doesn't matter then you're going to open up your browser and you're going to type in I already have mine typed in so it's going to revisit it but here you're going to type in this right here no that's not it um, this one right here see that I'm going to type in this exactly and you're going to get this screen right here okay so that's what you're going to be typing in right there camera is acting up a bit because it's looking at another another screen so it's going in and out sometimes all right so then you can type in uh in your username Your username is going to be admin miss administrator hope I spelled that right and then um, admin for the password admin and it's all lowercase okay log in if you get the if you had the password right or correct See this screen. Voila. Right? And now you see this right here. This is all of your indoor units. Now we got a lot here, folks. Guys, we got a lot here. Guys and girls. One, two, three, four. It's probably about 20 units all together. And one Lawson. Lawsony. This is a um, outside here heat recovery unit. Actually, there's two of them here. One is currently on. And once you see the green background, that means the equipment is on. And yeah, so here you can uh, select any unit you want. Click on it, select it. And then you can, I can turn this off right now if I want. If I click off and I hit send, just turned off. So it's black okay and if i want to turn it back on let's click to click it again click on it see the, the the ring comes around it and then i go back down this keyboard most touchpad is a bit draggy right now it's not working so smooth click on and then i just hit send All right, so you can even hear the click above my head because there's a branch box. There's a branch box. The branch box is right above my head. All right, so that's how you do that. And then you can do like uh, select all, right? And just give a, 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 a you know, batch command. So I'm going to take this out of there, take the last one out, and check that. just want to do the air, air conditioners, air conditioners. Okay. And I'm just going to go operation. And there, I can simply just uh, change the temperatures and all of them. Leave them in the same mode. go on I can go cool I can go 
temperature. You know, what do I want for them in the cooling mode? You know, it's pretty cool, guys. Look at this. It's this really neat. And you can see the, the backdrop still screen behind. It's mad dope. So remember, if you go up on a job and they got several indoor units and um, all you need is a laptop, you don't have to go crazy, go walking around to each indoor unit trying to make adjustments or changes. Get your laptop, Cat 5e wire, and just go to the gateway. If there's a gateway there, because this gateway doesn't have a screen. Uh, this right here is a gateway as well, but it does have its own screen, you see? So, this one here, you, you know, you can do it from the touch screen. But this one here is the same thing, uh, except it has no screen. That's the AE200, uh, and this is the ewo 58 all right so yeah and then once you make your changes you know you can just hit um send i won't send that because i don't want to do all that changes i'm just going to close this all right um well so, uh you can um see right now there's uh these filter warning is flashing here and you can just go right over here into uh uh down here you go to noticed click on that and then um let me see filter sign in the corner here look at that you can see that all of them has that right and you can just go ahead and just say reset all do you want to reset photo signs certainly Boom, so that's done. So if we go back to the uh, monitor, click on monitor, see, gone. And it's the same thing, if you're going to notice, that's where you see all your alarms. It's pretty user friendly. You just go, you know, you can just go around and become familiar with it. But the trick is to get in. So now you know how to get in. All right, you can look at communication errors. Here you go. All the history is there. All right, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you look at uh, unit error logs, you got all the history is there. All right, it's pretty cool, guys. So you you know you go on a job site, you have an EW fifty A. This is how you do that. Just a laptop and a Cat five cable. That's all you need. All right. You don't need internet access, you don't need Wi Fi, that's all you need. And then, if you want to look at, um, look on, click on maintenance in the bottom there, and then you go on monitoring status, and there you go. There is all your outdoor units on the system. So, for all those indoor units, these are all your outdoor units. You can see what they're doing, capacity. So your addresses, your Mnet address, Mnet address, and uh, yeah, these are the pressures, low side, high side, okay, capacity, pretty cool, okay, so if you have not subscribed, subscribe that bell icon so when i do videos like this you get it right away uh, oh schedules another big one do scheduling here select any unit it's easier to do it this way than to go to actual the actual thermostat or our rc controller so i go schedule settings for that one unit and i go okay and there you go you can do all of that here. It's, re it's rather easier this way. You can do weekly. And you can just, you know, go ahead and select your day. And just uh, hit had. And uh, select the mode you want for that particular time or day. And, um, you know, you can select your time right here. Change your time. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. You set your time and then you you want the system to be on and you want it in whatever mode dry cool select your mode and then select your temperature 
and select your fan speed you know by low medium whatever and then once you're done um, you hit OK but I'm not going to hit OK because I don't want to save that I'm going to cancel that just show you guys see what it is all right cancel 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 and uh, yeah so we're going to save this you, you want to continue yes all right so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have not subscribe subscribe and uh, video comes up uploaded on a weekly basis